I'm telling you, thriftmas. <laughs> thriftmas. Everything in the store is gonna go 20% off. Everything. Ooh, there's something fun and funky. Wait, what? What? Wow. Fun. I've never tried Gucci on before. I'm like a kid in a candy store. Boom. Gift. That would be an awesome gift for the person who literally already has everything. <laughs> what a good gift idea, huh? Good morning and welcome to the Innova Treasure Trove thrift store in Springfield, Virginia. This is a new to me thrift store and I could not be more excited to check this one out. It's connected to one of my favorite thrift stores that we have visited many times in the past in Fairfax. This is sort of another location, but it's completely different of course, but the same idea of a smaller charity shop. They get really good quality donations, whether you're thrifting for your seasonal decor core or looking for gifts. Everything is merchandised beautifully. They have such good quality pieces. So this is the perfect place to come if you're looking for gifts for the holiday season. And the other thing to check when you come in is they have a sign up including all of their tag sales. So we've got three different colors on sale. This will change all the time. So just come check it when you walk in the store and you can see which tag colors you're looking for to get the deals. I think one of the things that makes this store really special is that they get high-end donations, including a lot of luxury and designer pieces, as well as jewelry. So I think that's where I wanna start first today, and then we'll make our way through housewares and over to the clothing, but we're gonna see everything. This is really cute. Wicker crossbody bag, 35. Not your typical Vera Bradley, that's pretty cool. 20 bucks. Look at this vintage hand-painted leather bag. I like this one, it's so slouchy. Elliot Luca for 35 bucks. Oh my gosh, look at this gingham dooney. That's way cute and 116 for that. That would make a nice gift for someone. Some Kate Spade wallets and clays. Michael Kors, Makowski, Tory Burch, Tory Burch, our girl Liz Claiborne. Ooh, look at you. <laughs> Ralph Lauren, Calvin Klein. Coach, coach, coach. Okay, I can appreciate a designer bag, but like this is truly my jam. The 80s snakeskin <laughs> leather funky bag that your auntie had in the 80s. <laughs> I love it. Ooh, ooh, that's pretty. For like a winter wedding. Hey, wait, I've never seen where you could do photo, personal photos in a tote bag. That would be an awesome gift for someone. This is brand new. It's sold in the packaging for 14 bucks. There you go. That's like such a nice gift for someone. I'm telling you, thriftmas. <laughs> thriftmas. Um, okay, the Gucci sunglasses. Cool, and it's got the case. I've never tried Gucci sunglasses on before. <laughs> Also next to like the cutest boots. They're fry boots. They're $64, they're beautiful. That's a steal. These are custom made jewelry pieces made with designer hardware. A bougie upcycle. <laughs> and they have multiple cases of jewelry. It's like a vintage astrology pendant, maybe for Leo. Ooh, I sort of collect these 1960s oversized floral pins. There's a lot of like daisy ones, 15 for that. That's a good price. Some cute kind of mod vintage button earrings. Really drawn to this pair. They have a lot of fun stuff, but they have a lot of high-end jewelry too, which is very giftable. Sarah Coventry earrings. That's a real diamond panda bear pendant. 
How cute. Um, vintage Monet earrings. Wow, look at this set. Beautiful fossil watch for $38. That being a really nice gift. Adding a brooch to your gift wrap, like on the bow, is a fun way to add an extra little gift and make your gift wrap look really, really cute. Okay, I mean, I have to try that on. Ooh, okay, there's a hood. I feel like a big fuzzy teddy bear. <laughs> This must be how my dog feels all the time. It's plus size, it still has the original tags, and it's only $69. All right, I'm like a kid in a candy store. I am just like going nuts for all of these pieces so far, and we have barely scratched the surface. We're just getting into the houseware section. I'm seeing a lot of cool vintage and antique glassware, some cool unique furniture pieces, and a lot of home decor, so let's get it. So many Santas. <laughs> I think this one's my favorite. <laughs> These are really cute, those look like handmade. These seem vaguely familiar to me. I've, I had to film them. I feel like someone is going to watch this and recognize what these are and it's going to take them back. Reiki's bears. They remind me of those animatronic bears from like Disneyland or Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> it's a vintage 1999 long burger basket. Have your little Jane Birkin moment. Look at this one. Use it for like your some sewing notions or something, or carry it as a purse. I like the idea of using this as a plant stand. So, you know, maybe like a pothos or something that drapes down. I mean, for me, pothos is like one of the only plants that I can't kill. <laughs> Not very good plant. Oh, that looks comfy. Ah, these cross stitch pillows. I can't. <laughs> I love it. You guys, the, the shopping carts here, like the most adorable thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Look, it's so little. Inlaid wood art piece with this little girl under an umbrella. These pretty mother of pearl coaster and these inlaid bridge set. Look at these. Where my horse girl's at. <laughs> oh gosh, this is a mid-century George Briard serving bowl. Tom Clark signed figurines. Look at him, his wagon of buttons. Little hoots. Happy owl days. Dang, those are cute. The Leaning Tower of Pisa as a lamp. <laughs> Beautiful for your gallery wall. Ooh, I love these prints. Look at that one. Oh, look at Raggedy Ann and Andy. Whatever cult this is depicted here, I think I want to join it. <laughs> 1940s glazed figurines. Wow. <laughs> what is this? 50s Vintage Brayton Laguna Purple Cow for your collection. <laughs> I'm really appreciating at this thrift store in particular how the tags have descriptions on them. It's one of the things I love about antiquing. You feel like you can learn a little bit as you go if you don't recognize something. These red velvet throw pillows, like those are a great color. 14. 
but we gotta look at this mid-century chair they're sitting on. Look at that. The store is getting ready to, it's gonna start on the 21st and go through the first weekend in December. So it's basically around the holiday Black Friday shopping time when everyone's gonna be doing their holiday shopping. 20% off everything in this store. Pretty good. All right, if you are better with plants than I am, here is another holiday gift idea for you. Thrift a jar type of thing like this, glassware with a lid, and make a little terrarium for somebody. Put in some succulents or moss and some tiny little figurines in there. Maybe look on Pinterest for ideas about how to make a terrarium. This is nine bucks for that, and like what a special thrifted handmade gift. Framed pictures definitely make a good personalized gift. And if you don't have good photos to use, you could also purchase someone a photo session with a photographer for them and their family, what have you, their partner, and then thrift a bunch of photo frames to go with it. What a good gift idea, huh? Thrift a cool candy dish, fill it with the person's favorite candy, boom, gift. Do you need a sexy dolphin figurine in your life? Of course you do. It's Marilyn Monroe as a dolphin. <laughs> Why do I love that? <laughs> For the person who literally already has everything. <laughs> this will be a nice way to wrap a gift card to somebody in a reusable trinket box. That one even looks kind of holiday. Some wooden trinket boxes. Or like a jewelry gift, or something small and handmade. Keep your catnip in there. <laughs> a bunch of giftable stuff, still new in the box. I think books make such a nice and thoughtful, like personalized and affordable and sustainable, especially me and I'm secondhand, gift for the holidays. I just recommend starting early because it can take a lot of time to look through books or go to a store like this where things are pretty well organized and maybe do a little research online ahead of time to figure out what types of books, you titles you might be looking for. And if you really don't know where to start, I recommend considering the art books, the large hardback art books or like coffee table books are a good gift. Look, an unopened puzzle. We actually love gifting puzzles in my family because it's not something you necessarily want to buy for yourself, but you're gonna enjoy doing it, especially in the winter time when you're just kind of sitting around watching holiday movies. <gasps> I'm just Ken. Actually, I'm Dream Date Ken. Everybody's Dream Date. Ah, look at that. Dream Date PJ, Barbie's cousin. Sold separately. Is this the, the gift you get the person who went through a bad holiday season breakup? <laughs> Oh. Just remember, you are Kenef. Life is short. Let's look at the shoes. Alright, I saved my favorite section for last and I am so excited to see what type of clothing we're gonna find in here. So let's dig into these clothes. Really like the colorway in that jacket. And then we've got this funky Anne Klein. Classic velvet blazer, that's good for holidays. Or something with a little metallic. Thrift yourself a pair of velvet pants for the holidays. They are so comfy. They go with everything and you actually feel like you're a little bit dressed up even though you're secretly wearing pajamas. Notations is one of my favorite brands for those too. That's well, fun. Black on black, like textured satin from Talbots. 14 bucks. Ooh, these black uh, faux leather, or they might be real. Um, but the paper bag waist looks so fun with like just a good sweater or turtleneck. These vintage cachet 
sheer flowy pants. Cool like silhouette to those. Ooh, there's something fun and funky. It's like an 80s uh, Maggie London. I think it's silk. Yeah, it's a real 100% silk blouse. Yes! Rich anti vibes, the puff sleeve. More rich anti vibes. Love it. Ah! I love 80s Josephine Charles pieces. That's just cute. So many buttons. <laughs> Little vintage 80s top. Another cute little vintage 80s top with the bow, a little tie neck. I love these to layer underneath a knit vest because then you can have the little bow over the top. Another cute 80s tie neck blouse. Stop. Union tag. A 70s or 80s Devon. Okay, that's cute, but look at this tag. Coratron? <laughs> I recognize Coret or Coré, but Coratron I have not seen before. <laughs> Ooh, what a fun color. This, like chartreuse cardigan, Banana Republic merino wool, like color block it. Look at that. Great modern knit, cable knit vest in a ochre color. I like that too. I like these two tone browns together and do a whole like tonal brown look. Ooh, okay, the silver metallic shirt. That's a fun way to do like a non-traditional <laughs> like New Year's Eve or holiday look or just go to the club. Andre Sauvage. Oh my gosh, embroidered cardigan. Here's a Lily Pulitzer. <gasps> look at all of these coats. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Okay, we gotta check these out. some of my favorites. I mean, this one is Fox. Just see my Gucci sunglasses back on. <laughs> it's all happening. <laughs> I like this one a lot. It's comfy. Almost like a jacket. I had fun trying those on. Let's keep looking here. There's still some more uh, women's sweaters other jackets and dresses, and then we have a men's section to look at. Fun! Ooh, check out this dope jacket. Real leather. I wish that fit me. Camel cashmere, it's pretty. Cashmere. More cashmere. Made in New Zealand, shout out to my friends in New Zealand. This is Forever 21, but like, that's so fun. Like you could make that style that holiday or make it look, you know, festival wear. Love a corduroy shacket moment. Wow, I believe a 90s, 1997 Levi's trucker jacket made in the USA. This is so cute, oh my gosh. Rosanna. Ralph Lauren, gold sparkly turtleneck sweater. And the 
Kleiga. Ooh, Norwegian wool cardigan. Cute little LBD. Feels like silk. K Unger. Wow. Ooh, and this cute little velvet top from Talbots. That one's fun and funky. Knit dress. I always look at the formal dresses. There's always something fun in there. And sometimes you find pieces that you can wear for multiple occasions. <gasps> Ooh, the sequin jacket. This would be great for like a winter wedding guest dress. And it still has the original tags. Wow. <laughs> Marie St. Clair. What? Wait, what? Oh my gosh. Silk Lawrence Kizar, but wowza. Look at this one. Okay, it's fun, but the look at the tag. Wow. Ooh, another silk beaded and sequined Lawrence Kazar top. That's really pretty. This one is 25. Woo! It's a 2XL. Love that. Another really cute back to this dress. Okay, I'm having way too much fun. I love this store. We have a little bit of a men's wear section to go through, and then uh, we're gonna, I think we have seen everything, so let's check out the men's wear. really excited because I'm seeing some really cool looking knits over here. Wow. J Crew, 100% wool. Oh, I like that one. I like this just chunky knit cotton. Ooh. Look at that one. That's cool. Ooh, nice little navy Lacoste sweater. No. Okay, now I'm stuck. <laughs> Look at this knit vest. Vintage Neiman Marcus for 15. Yes. <gasps> you guys. <laughs> I feel like I saved the best for last over here because these are my favorite finds of the day. So with that, I think we're actually done in here. Like we've pretty much seen everything. I have some really good finds to share, so I'm gonna do a thrift haul next. And uh, yeah, I am stoked to share what I'm gonna end up getting here. All right, so that was my first time thrifting at the Treasure Trove in Springfield, and I am so pumped about it. I was super impressed. If you have not visited this thrift store or if it's been a while, keep in mind that this thrift store just moved locations and they did not move far. They moved uh, just on the other side of the shopping plaza that they were formerly in, but do make sure that you double check the location. Okay, I am so pumped to share this haul with you because we definitely brought home some gems today. 
So the first thing I want to show you that I got, I am actually already wearing, it is this pair of earrings. These are reimagined by actually the thrift store manager, Tina who reworks vintage jewelry. And I showed you some of the pieces in store. So we'll either take designer hardware elements or maybe jewelry that is otherwise broken and then rework it into new pieces. So thank you, Tina, I love them. And then also in the accessories department, uh, I will show you, I got that suede handbag. Fun colors, definitely unlike bags that I already own and a good size, crossbody. This one, I'm sure you will see it pop up in styling in a lot of future videos because just adding those pops of color is gonna be really fun. And there's no tag, so I can't really share like a brand with you, just 80s bag. In the houseware section, I took home a couple of things. I got this uh, rattan, I think it's an umbrella stand, but I personally would love to use it as a plant stand. And I think it could go either way. I could set a plant in the top of it or set it down this way and then have this, the um, planter sitting on top. That's kind of cool, kind of balances it out, right? I have already some, a handful of these little mini peacock rattan chairs that I use as little plant stands like in the windowsills around my house and stuff. So this is like a nice compliment to that. And then as you could tell by now, I did bring home that George Briard serving bowl. I actually have a thrifted mid-century George Briard cutting board slash serving tray. So now I feel like this is a nice compliment to that. Maybe I'll start to, you know, collect a handful of these uh, pieces for my kitchen. Okay, now time for the clothing. It's all knits, as you can tell. <laughs> I think I'm just in a total, like, knitwear kick right now. I just can't get enough. And when I find these kind of, like, 90s dad sweaters, I, I cannot resist. So I really liked this one. It's a super soft acrylic. It seems like very wearable and this olive green tone, I'm also really enjoying. So I think that this one's real cute. Basic Editions brand. Then I got the Neiman Marcus sweater vest. Really cool, funky pattern on this one. And it's different on the front and on the back, which is really fun. Another cool colorway. Um, I really like the mustard yellow in this. And so I think I wanna bring up I want to bring that out in the styling. I'm really particularly excited about this because recently I thrifted a collection of 1970s amazing knitwear and I posted it on my Instagram so I can show you here what I had found. And there was this yellow houndstooth <laughs> v-neck sweater really very similar to this one actually. The yellow and gray one, I loved it, but it is just way too small for me. Not the right size at all for me to even style. Whereas now I found one that I think I will personally be able to wear. So as soon as I saw it, I knew I was gonna get it. <laughs> you know how I feel about ugly cool. This to me, very ugly cool. <laughs> I believe it's a 90s one and definitely fits in with that like 90s grunge vibe. And it's cotton, so it's like perfect for me. That's like my favorite to wear in sweaters, just super comfy and soft. Yay. Well, that's everything for my haul today. So thrilled with each and every one of those special pieces. Thank you so much to Tina and the whole staff for being so gracious and having me in your store. I cannot wait to go back. And thank you all for thrifting with me. I hope that you enjoyed and I hope I was able to share some uh, thoughtful gift ideas that you might be able to do your own thriftmas and secondhand and homemade gifts for this holiday season. I will be back next Sunday with a new thrifting adventure and I look forward to seeing you then.